Hello and welcome back to Travelling Box with me, Tanya. Um, today I want to talk about security cameras, um, specifically the security cameras that I have, um, which are the Ring cameras. And I've had the Ring set up since January of this year, so we're looking at 11 months now of, of continuously using the CCTV. I don't know about you, but every time I read or hear about someone's beloved caravan or motorhome being stolen, it makes me feel a little bit sick. Um, I know how much I love my Frankie and the thought of someone coming along and stealing her absolutely, well, it's, it's a foul feeling inside and I feel so desperately sorry for, for anyone who has had their uh, caravan stolen um, and I think that's just absolutely disgusting despicable state of affairs that we're in currently but that is the way that life is those will come along and take what you've worked hard for um, and with a caravan they are our homes from homes we do put so much of ourselves into them and we spend so much time in them building memories with them um, that it feels like a double blow when they're taken from us um, so to that end, I do have security. I've, I've mentioned in previous videos the fact that I have a hitch lock, the fact that I have uh, wheel clamps, the fact that I park my, my caravan nose in first, all these little things to make it a little bit more difficult for her to be stolen. But CCTV is something I've had for, for a while now. And I actually bought my ring doorbell um, in January when I bought my trailer. Anything that's outside that's vulnerable, I wanted protection. And after doing much research, I decided that the ring setup was best for me. And the first thing I bought was the ring doorbell. And with that, uh, you get um, a 30 day free trial of their subscription plan. Now their subscription plan is two pounds 50 a month for one device. So if you only have the ring doorbell on the front of your house, or one setup camera somewhere, then it's only £2.50 a month. And what that enables you to do is to look at historical videos that are stored on the Ring Server Cloud uh, so that you've got access to past videos. If you don't want to pay the £2.50 subscription, that's fine. Uh, you can use it without that subscription, but then you only get to look at things live. You still get the notifications. You still can talk to people through the doorbell but you don't get to look at historical things. So to that end, I do have a subscription. Mine is more than £2.50 a month because I have four ring devices in my home. I've got my doorbell, I've got spotlight cam out in my back garden, I have two indoor stick-up cams as well, one in my lounge, one in my kitchen, so that I cover all of the downstairs area as well. So if anyone breaks in, I get live feed videos from my cameras all over the property um, and I also get historical so if I'm fast asleep at night and someone breaks in and I don't notice until the morning I can look back and see exactly who's come in and the picture quality is really really good I'll show you some images in a bit <laughs> products are very nicely packaged and they literally supply you with everything they think that you're going to need. So things such as a masonry drill bit in the right size, the screw fittings, the wall plugs, you get your charging cable to charge your batteries and of course the batteries that go in them if you have a battery set up. You even get a nifty little screwdriver specifically designed for the screws that are on the ring devices. Um, they come with two ends. One has what looks like a, an ordinary Phillips end and the other is a special little star uh, end there that, that is specifically for the, the camera screws. Um, if I show you here, this is one of my indoor stick-up cams. I've taken it down. <laughs> A bit dusty. Um, still live and still recording. Um, I'll show you a bit of the recording in a minute. But yeah, that's that's the size of the indoor stick-up cams. Um, they're very, 
unobtrusive, easy to fix onto a shelf or on a wall or wherever you want it to go. The ring doorbell similarly is easy to affix to the front of your house next to your front door. The back garden um, floodlight cam or spotlight cam as I have was also fairly easy even though I hate drilling into masonry that was a mission um, but yeah all of their devices you can get them in um, battery versions which is what I have um, or you can have them hardwired in and you can also buy solar panels to, to affix to your battery devices so that they can charge by solar which is really really handy um, the way I do things, the, the spotlight cam at the back has two batteries and each of the other device devices has one battery. So I've always got a spare that I charge and then we go. So I'm just going to show you what the Ring app looks like if I go back to my home screen. Um, this is the basic standpoint of the Ring app and you'll see the four devices I have there. I've just quickly disabled my backyard. Um, but there you can see my front door, my kitchen, my living room. And if we click on to the living room, I'll just show you, I've moved the camera there um, so that you can see, click onto the living room and I can do a live view. There we are. Live as we're sitting here. And go back to my front door. I can do a live view there. And you can happily see that Frankie is alive and well and sitting on the front drive with no problems whatsoever. We'll close that down. We could also look at event history. Um, so here we'll have everything that is detected. Um, well, since the dawn of time, I've got well, loads on here. Um, but if I have a look at, say, this morning when we left the house for school, because that was on there, you can see it captured the images, it captured the video, and it captures audio as well. But as you can see, the picture quality by this camera, third party onto the iPad, is pretty clear. Now it's worth noting that that Ring app you can put on various devices. So I have it on my iPad, I have it on my iPhone. They get notifications through on my watch. So if you've got a smart watch or as I do a Fitbit, you'll get a notification alert that there is movement at whichever um, camera the movement has been activated on. If you have an Alexa device, then that can also notify you. Um, I have an Amazon Fire Stick on my TV and um, I've set that up so that if I ask Alexa to show me my front door, up comes a picture of my front door. So I found it really, really useful, um, especially late at night, being a solo mum and with these dark evenings, I don't answer the door of an evening. Um, and I haven't done um, for, for many years. Anyway, if you haven't texted me or rung me to say you're on your way over, you're not coming in, I'm not answering. But now with the Ring device, I can have a look on whichever device I have handy, my phone, my iPad, my telly, uh, and, and answer the door and speak to them through my camera. It was very handy a couple of days ago when the, the postman came knocking with a parcel and I was able to tell him where to leave the parcel. Uh, yeah, so um, I can't recommend them highly enough. For me, they have been really, really simple to use. Uh, they give me a lot of peace of mind. And I think the quality of the, the image capture and the uh, audio is really, really clear. Um, two weeks ago, I think it was, my parents have got the uh, floodlight cam on their front garden. Um, well, I say front garden, it overlooks their driveway where their motorhome is and their, their vehicle. And their camera captured, at, I think half past midnight, um, a very, very clear image of a man walking up their driveway and trying the handles of the car. Uh, the next day we found out that there were numerous um, attempts at 
car theft that evening, clearly by the same person. And so the police now have that CCTV image and it's very, very clear. Weirdly, he looks like Jesus. Who can tell? It's this close to Christmas, maybe you wanted a present. Um, but yeah, so my advice to anyone um, who grapples with the idea of security, if you have your caravan at home, then the Ring doorbell works very, very well for me. The Ring floodlight cam works very well for my parents. For my back garden, the spotlight cam works awesome. And indoors, the stick up cams work brilliantly. So yeah, that's just my little recommendation. It helps me to sleep better at night and, and maybe it will do to you as well. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.